The Androids, a unique and interesting set of characters wanted within Dragon Ball Xenoverse now since the beginning. Many of us fans have been patiently waiting for the official announcement of Xenoverse 2, and I'm joined by here today by JR Saiyans to talk about and share our thoughts on a possible introduction of the androids in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now, we actually covered the, the premise of the Saiyan God class and the Namekian God class in previous episodes, alongside the Majin classes as well. Go on ahead and check the videos out down in the description below and share your thoughts on it in case you guys haven't checked it out. Now, JR, I personally would love to see several features included within the uh, android class uh, in the next Xenoverse game. One feature in particular would be having the androids have uh, different evolutions as to what they do, similar to Cell in a way, depending on how you want to go about and, and just use your overall Android character. Now, it stumped me at first because when I first played Xenoverse, I wondered to myself, like, why weren't the androids included? Um, maybe it's because they were similar to humans in a way, but then again, you can't really compare someone like Android 1920 and Android 13 to someone like, you know, Krillin or TM because they're all different in what they do. The androids always absorbed energy and stuff, so that would have made them, like, a very beast class. So I wanted to know from you here today, um, my, my, my first question, of course, would be, how do you think an android class would even, would even work out? I mean, um, what, like, would they have... Uh, included more of like biological androids onto the team like somewhat like super like android 17 and 18 or do you think um like the classes of androids ought to have a separation and have it to where there are a bunch of energy draining androids and evolutionists such as android 1920 and super android 13 because we saw how different android 17 and 18 were uh compared to 19 and 20 so like with this class of androids like do you think the class of androids would even like work out to begin with or do you think um it's just too much to add within xenoverse and it wouldn't make any sense i wouldn't say it's too much to add in particular because you're pretty much putting a human in right but tweaking a little bit of things right so one thing that needs to be for an android class is the absorption of energy but here's the difference would you have biological androids or would you have the energy draining evolutionist androids because there's a big difference between again a, a huge difference between androids 19 20 17 and 18. I would, I would want to say we want 17 and 18. So you, you would want to have more like biological androids? Yes. Okay. Why is that? Because it, not not only for, for the fans to kind of like, I guess, trick their opponents in a way because they would, they look like humans, but then also when you're fighting them, there's a huge twist to it because there's a whole different way you need to fight an right. android because they can absorb energy, which needs to be in there if they put an android class. Not only that, but, um... They shouldn't I mean, lose energy. We saw it in, in the show. They exactly. never lost energy when never they fought. Never lost energy. Exactly. That, that should be something that never goes down. I think it's uh, the gauge, like the energy gauge. That should yeah. always like be high because when the androids fought, like they always had such high stamina. Like nobody was able to keep up. So you're that's going cool. along the lines of biological androids. Okay. I mean that that actually that, that's very good because that leads into my second question, which is, uh, would you have it to where the androids can reach a perfect like form similar to Cell or? Would you have it to where you can build your own cell-like character separate from the android class that falls within the android class, but again, like you have the option of choosing either a male, a female, or you can choose like a cell-like character, uh, yeah, um, I was gonna say like, that. Like, a, like a bio life form. Uh, so do you think it would fit within the game, like, or do you think that would be just be overkill? It, it might be overkill, might not be in this next game, but it has to be something in the future, I agree. I was going to say that they should have the, both android classes, boy, girl, and then a cell-like creature. Where right. you can actually um, hit those forms and, and actually, you know, rank up like that. Because that, that, that makes a lot of sense for someone who wants to be in the same level as a Saiyan god or a Namekian god. But the thing with androids, that gives them the biggest i guess um and you got to use it smart because it can also be your biggest weakness the biggest strength for an android would be absorption of energy right, right. so pretty much you blast the kamehameha wave at me and i could absorb it to a certain point though because once it hits a certain point i would i would want this to be the the bad part because some people could just stay there and absorb everything which is not what you want you that would be like the ultimate spam, dude. You just exactly, and exactly. just absorb everyone's so attacks. Pretty much, it, it's like um, like in Halo. Okay, right. this, this, like in Halo, when you're shooting a gun, like a laser gun, right? You can only shoot it to a certain point before it overheats. Yeah. So you can like uh, the comparison I'm making is you can only take in so much before you overheat and okay. hurt yourself tremendously. 
So you gotta use it smart. You can't just always use it. You gotta use it smart. When you uh, need I, I I wonder how that's gonna apply to like spirit bombs because that's a lot of energy. You you'd have to uh, sacrifice uh, some of your health, but also uh, you get me like suck in some of the energy and sacrifice some of your health. You won't it won't do as much damage, but you won't hurt yourself by absorbing too much energy. You get me? It's kind of like um, you don't want to happen what happened to uh, Meta Cooler. Right, me? right, right. Exactly. That, I mean, again, I like I that. I've always wanted to make my own cell character, like customize like his his like his horns or whatever add, add something different because every single time i look online there are all these people creating like their own fan images of how cell looks or maybe yeah. having like an evolutionary form like some i i remember while like looking at certain you know pictures to where cell had like a super cell form it was pretty crazy um and of course i mean i would love to inc like incorporate that within my character as well um but my my third question to that is uh, like, what would set the Android class apart from the other classes that would make someone want to choose that race over the rest, and why? Well, the biggest part, like I said, would have to be energy absorption. Another one would have to be, you don't lose energy. You Again, just gain that energy. That, that would be pretty essential for you to keep up with god classes of all the other of all the other classes or, or races yeah you would that, that would need to be essential if you want to balance out every character and it would it would be up to to the developers in order to to find out a, a good balance but i believe that's that's what would set them out you you would you want to be someone who transforms but wastes a lot of energy or be you know an android who take who absorbs energy but you got to do it smartly you can't be dumb about it right who does it smartly you gotta you gotta actually use it tactical wise but at the same time, you don't lose energy. Now, now but, speaking of that, like, what would be the difference between the male and female versions of the androids and Perfect Cell? Like, why would why like like I mean, because I'm pretty sure 95 percent of the people, if they ever saw like those three options fall under that class, they will automatically jump on the Cell bandwagon. Now, yeah. what would you incorporate within like the Android class, the male and the female, that would differ from the actual Cell creature class? Because. I would have uh, again, like the energy absorption would be great, um, and 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 the very high stamina. But like, what else would separate that? Like, would it be like the customizable features, or would it be something else, like the move sets, perhaps? I would have to say it'd be the the move sets and the customizable human features because it would be pretty much a human, right? With Android features, you get me? Okay. And so further, I, what, like, what about the creature? With the creature, it would have to be kind of around the uh, Namekian kind of customization. But then they could transform like like how Cell does to, to better forms and to better himself. You get me? So so you don't believe that would be overkill as to adding on too much in the game? I do believe it'd be overkill for the next game, but it's definitely something that can be added either or to the next game. But for both it would need to be later on down the road, in my opinion, of course. So so why why do you think they never included the Android class within Xenoverse, because again, um, judging based how uh, like how Xenoverse played out, people still play it to this day. It's a it's a very interactive game. It's very fun. Um, but why is it that certain people always had a bias towards other classes and stuff? Because even till this day, if you go on Xenoverse online and you play, a lot of people often choose like you know the same classes over and over again. I'm guilty of that because I would also choose either the uh, the Frieza clans race or the Saiyans over and over again. Um, but in terms of like the future, in terms of like for Xenoverse 2, the Android class, like do you think that would have its own purpose um, in terms of like campaign and multiplayer? Or do you think it's just going to be there just to tell the people, hey, so we have the class here just to shut you guys up and that's that. Like how, how, how like, like, like where do you see the vision for Xenoverse 2 in terms of like this class? Like do you think it's possible and do you think it's, it's more than likely to happen or do you think it's just going to be... Uh, another you know fan wish list check you know check moments where people are just gonna be like you know what i wish we had it but we're never gonna have it um it would have it, it's all to developers right um it, how much they want to put into the game and if they want to make a perfect game which no one wants to make a perfect game when they're making games right. because they want to make money they want right. to always have something to improve on so i at, at this point in time i i want it to be if they do make an android actual class it's not going to be how we described it it's going to be um oh, i'm sure it's going to be very really different toned down. It. yeah it's going to be really toned down and uh needs a lot of improvement it'll kind of be like the majin class that we guys saw think, 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 of, think of dragon ball heroes because dragon ball heroes had such a different you know variety of androids like i remember like every single time you would watch one of the trailers or like like some of the cutscenes and stuff 
you would see, you know, like a few set of those androids, like with yeah. trailers and stuff. So they, they could have it to where it's similar, but again, that all depends on the basis here because if if it works, then yeah, I mean, I, I bet you a bunch of people will buy into it and and, and they'll gradually, yeah. you know, get it and play as the uh, the and the androids and stuff. But like like, what are your final thoughts as to like what cell? Uh, well, in terms of like what the cell creature stats would be like. Cell's creature stats. Oh, well, cell was pretty OP. Yeah, um, it was. So it, it cell's creature stats have to be. I think that's what they wouldn't have a god form, right? They would have a, a regular form and let's just say a perfect form. That, that's what I think they they should have, or a, a regular form or second form, and then a perfect form, of course. And um, what I think should would be the difference is that they have all their stats boost. You get me? Okay, okay. I mean, so you would have evolutionary stages. I would have one or two, kind of like how Cell had. Th does that include, like, a possible god stage or no? No god stage. Okay, good. Okay. But, yeah, because that'd be too overkill. Yes. Because the, the whole point of the Cell thing is that you have different cells and different DNA of everyone, right? Right, right, right. So... Which when when you transform, let's say one, let, I'm gonna give it one transformation because it could be two OP, one transformation, but cell everything increases, nothing goes down. Okay. So that would be the difference. Do you do you want to be a Saiyan where if you turn Super Saiyan, it uh, could only last for this long, that increases, but this decreases, or do you want to be a cell that transforms once? It might not be as strong as a god, but gods just are. Uh, let's say they're they're getting weaker as the fight goes on, but cell stays at tip top, you know, at the at the top. You get me? That, that would make for, like, such chaotic battles that, online yeah. because, like, people would want to transform fast. People would want to, like, get certain things out the way quicker than others because they know, like, at a certain point, someone's going to transform into something, and that's going to cause a lot of problems. So, uh, any any final thoughts going into, like, the Android class? Because if, if there's anything you felt, you felt like you missed out or something or anything you feel like should be included, like, what would that be? Well, I do want to say something. A lot of people have uh, come to me. I, I don't. I don't know why to me. I guess because uh, I was really into the whole online scene, right? Being ranked number one at one point. A lot of people came to me saying we need an Android class, and there was actually a good amount of people that supported that. Now it wouldn't be as much as a Saiyan or right. or or a Arcosian or a Frieza clansman, or maybe even an Amekian Boo if they do it right. But it would be that diversity that some people would want. Some people would want to be an android, you know? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I wouldn't see why some people would not want to, like, dive out and become, like, you know, biological or just, you know, ha have that premise. Because there are fans out there that are huge fans of, like, you know, the Red Ribbon Army and stuff. So I, mm -hmm. I, I, I could definitely see your point on that. Uh, if you guys have your own opinions on to the Android class, if you guys want to include anything, comment down below and let us know. Once again, guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys are Dragon Ball fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you guys don't miss a single Dragon Ball update or video. If you guys enjoyed, slap a like. Leave your thoughts down below if you guys disagreed as well. Comment as to why you guys disagree uh, in terms of having an Android class down below. Check out JRZ saying down in the description, guys. Thank you all for watching. Tune in for more, and we'll be seeing you guys in the next update. Take it easy, everybody. Peace.